since posting my first video uh, on the DOA vapor blaster that I put together I actually had one of my friends come up and ask me about one of the things I'd mentioned in that first video saying that you can pretty much build these things um, from stuff available at your local hardware store and he assumed I was talking about the nozzle would have been one of the things that you couldn't get in your local hardware store and I don't know about other countries but in New Zealand it doesn't seem to be the sort of thing that you can just go pick up at your local store or anywhere around there a little bit more specialized I actually ordered this one in from overseas um, but while I was waiting for it I wanted to get some testing done uh, on it was actually this box before I sealed it um, and when you bring in these in from overseas New Zealand's a long way away and it actually takes quite a long time to get things to uh, to show up <clears throat> so while I was waiting for that you can just see one of my older test blasters there and, and the next one that's that's being built now while I was waiting I put together this slightly smaller um, for anyone who already has one of these vapor bla or one of these blast cabinets you'll already have a nozzle a bit like that that comes in the standard gun I haven't done enough to work out why the standard guns don't work very well um, as, as a vapor blaster as opposed to the sand blasting configuration that they come in but because it wasn't doing that good a job I decided to throw together this test piece while I waited um, it's pretty simple to build uh, I do however have the lathe so it makes it a lot easier but I mean you can put this together just in your workshop just using hand tools um, may need a tap and die set to, to get it to work properly I suppose you could glue it together with some type of epoxy but if you can get it to thread, thread together it's um, far better than, than if you were just to glue it but um, this seems to have done the job alright it was um, pretty good for my testing before um, while I was waiting for this to show up I was getting a pretty decent finish um, but I'll, I'll throw it back in the machine and just demonstrate how well you can get it to work so you don't need to order this uh, online you can um, if it's going to make your job easier or in other countries I guess you might be able to go down to your local store and pick one up um, but for the sake of these videos uh, just to show you what you can do in a DIY environment um, I'll, I'll fire this in uh, and just show you the sort of results you can get without having to spend the money and, and, and wait for I suppose the more professional uh, type nozzles to turn up We'll get set up and uh, throw something in there to blast. So if you watched the uh, first video of this blast cabinet, you may recognise this part that we did. The other half of it still hasn't been done, so I um, figured we'd fire it back in and see what this uh, other nozzle, uh, what sort of finish we can get from this other nozzle. Just had to stop it for a second because the uh, compressor wouldn't keep up, but um, should be good to go again.
and the proof is in the pudding takes a little bit longer and probably quality is not good enough on this camera and in this light to see the difference there is a difference um, uh, that could just be the condition of the beads the blasting media um, this was a side that was done with the imported nozzle and this was the side that was done with the DIY nozzle so it's still a good job it's a little bit slower um, but I think that's just because this one here I was trying to get it to use as little air as possible um, I wanted it to be sort of usable by any workshop even if the compressor wasn't really up to the task uh, I still haven't quite got there yet I've got a few more tweaks to make to see if we can get that CFM rate down really low and still get the good results and not take too long um, but as it is now it definitely takes longer than the imported nozzle uh, but you can see there it will still do the job um, looks pretty nice and that there was made out of a whole bunch of brass parts and nozzle there off the original um, sandblasting cabinet but yeah it works